Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We did a little bit of shopping at the Asian store today, picked up a lot of good stuff. Half of the stuff is already on my sister's. Um, I did pay for everything. You're welcome, sister. So um, I actually got, quick story, I got my deposit back. I moved from my old house to um, my newer place and um, I got back a pretty good deposit. So we went shopping today at the Asian store. Um, let's start out with, we went to Lee's Market and I didn't know because I haven't been there for a while, but um, I need to take a breath. Give me one moment. Okay, we are back. Um, they do give you boxes, which makes it so awesome. I didn't know that. So you can carry it out. They don't charge. Like I said, California charges for 10 cents a bag. So that works out great. Plus they're gonna toss it, but instead they give it to you. So how awesome is that? Let's start with this one. Um, this is basically kapiak noodles. Okay, um, it contains rice, cornstarch, sea salt, and filtered water, which works great because if any of you have made kapiak noodles from scratch, it does take a long time. And um, the guy was telling me that this one doesn't break, so that's awesome. I haven't tried it myself. I've tried the ones that they have in the bag. <clears throat> We do have our lazy days, but this one should be just as good, if not better. My favorite, favorite, favorite Asian food are bitter melon. Um, in my language, it's called patat, and I want to say it's called bitter melon or bitter guard. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of benefits to eating these. Um, I am out of breath, y'all. I took a while to set you guys up. I've been running around. Haven't showered, honestly. Um, we got excited to go grocery shopping, so we did that first. So anyway, um, less talking about that. Um, these, I've read a lot online that like it cures cancer and a lot of stuff. I don't know how true it is, but it is very, very good. It's bitter, but it's great. You can fry it, you can, um, you can bake it with like pork or any kind of meat you like. Um, you just chop the sides. Um, get all the DC de de seed <laughs> get all the seeds out stuff it with meat and then bake it until it's cooked until your meat's cooked cooks really fast you can fry it with eggs okay let's not swing that around and you can um, I have it with chicken all the time just add some lemongrass basil Ooh, you're all set um, I forget what else I don't know I can't think too much right now um, so I grabbed three of those do you guys know when it's in season? Because I've asked a lot of people and they said from now until end of summer, but honestly, a lot of times that I purchase it, I usually go to Fresno, they have, it's like New Asia, thank you, Cousin Katie. When when they had that, I grabbed so many, you can freeze them, they're great to freeze. Um, I don't know, I grew up eating these and they're really, really good and I'm sure my parents grow it and all that, but you know, I'm grown now, so I, <laughs> I want to kind of. I want to, um, you know, just purchase it on my own. You don't always want to bother your parents. And so excited for these. I've already opened it on the way home. They are crab apples. There's green. There's very good and sour. Um, didn't even wash them. Uh, it's all right, though. I already started on that. I already packed some to go. We're going to go fishing. The hike is real. Um, on that, very excited for fresh Logan's. Um, I don't know exactly how long ago, but the first, first time I've had these, like legit fresh like this, was in Canada. Um, I went with my cousins when we lived in Michigan. I went three times. I went with my parents, I went with my cousins, and um, yeah. But I did, uh, we ate these, and you know, don't try to sneak it over the border, you will get caught. I'm not saying we snuck it, but I'm just saying that's what I've heard. <laughs> so, but they are very expensive. It's, I think it was like $3.99 a pound. Don't know, just grab a bunch. Um, next item, yes, you can make these yourself, but uh, sometimes we get a little lazy. It's sour pickled mustard, um, half in brine. It has a lot of sodium, but it's all right. It's kind of like, you know, kimchi, all that stuff. It has a lot of sodium, but fermented foods are good for you um, when you eat not so much. So there's that. Uh, 
Growing up, we did not have much and my parents would always purchase like um, little, little like 50 cent toys from the Asian store anywhere. So I saw these babies and I was so excited. I grabbed two, one for my niece and one for my son Mason, 259 guys. I thought it was really cool. I'm gonna put it, you know, his height on the wall and he can play, he can do whatever he wants with that. That's cool. Um, I got mangoes. I think one's already in my fishing bag. These are sour mangoes. They're a little bit more pricey, but whew, are they worth it? Put some salt and pepper, just chop it up really good. Eat it by itself. Very good. Um, I eat everything with pepper, so I did grab, sorry mom, I know you have some for me, but I got excited. So they are peppers, you know, just the, what are they called, Thai chili peppers. I eat this with everything. Um, it's funny because I was talking to my boyfriend's niece, and she's like, I love your jail that you make. I'm like, girl, all you have to do is get this, put a little bit of salt and thumb it. It is really good like that. She's like, no, but I like it when you make it, of course, right? Don't we all? But yes, I will see you on Mason's birthday, and here we go. We have that. Um, don't mind me, I had a rough night last night, but I usually look like this, so it's all right. I grabbed these babies because they are bunnies. I am a rabbit, like, what is it, like the Asian thing? I don't know, you know how they have cat, year of the cat, dog, all that great stuff. I'm a rabbit, hop, hop, hippity hop. <laughs> and I grabbed two, these are 269, and it has like the stuff in here, which you know, I don't care. Oh goodness it's a piggy bank guys oh I love that these are great um, yes very awesome these I don't know what they're called but they you put your sticky rice in here after you make it we actually haven't had one for a while ours went bad because you want well, they go bad like after a year or two or longer if you take care of it because if you don't the sticky rice gets stuck and it gets sticky and all that but I was like oh my goodness they are so much cuter now this one is like a, sorry guys, um, like a medium sized one for $12 and I just love the bamboo design. I love it. That one's for me. This one is for my sister, yes. As you can see, I get her everything that I get myself because thoughtful people do that. <laughs> You're welcome sister. Birthday in two days, another reminder. Um, this one is $8.99 and these are made in Thailand and it is just beautiful, it is awesome. I might just keep it, I don't know. Um, this right here is a lifesaver. It is not healthy for you, but it's all right. It contains rice flour, water, limestone paste, limestone, is that a rock? Maybe. Um, tamarind, water, salt, bang noa, MSG, pepper, soybeans, cilantro, and garlic. This is called, you know, what is it called? Because a lot of people say clung fin, some people say long fin. I don't know, but it's just good. You mix it, it's all in here, it's handy, it's in a cup. It's good. For anyone that hasn't tried it, try it. It's really good, just like I said, make sure you're near a bathroom because it's detoxification, you know. This, I was so very excited growing up. We ate this all the time. That's why I love tamarind. Um, this is hot candy tamarind, hot candy tamarind. Can you imagine that? Let me grab something to show you. Um, don't really know where it's at, but, oh, here we go. See, the hype is real. Okay, I do eat candy, I'm human. This is the mango tamarind, it's like hot tamarind. Yeah, same difference. So this is very good. I love that it comes in a little container. I know silly, but packaging is life. It really is. And it's good. It has like the little things, I don't know what they're called, but to, that seals for freshness. That pretty much wraps up my haul. My sister got like some fish, Asian sausage, and you know, stuff that we like to eat whenever we like to eat it. They're making fish tonight because uh, a sister, myself, didn't catch any keepers last night because that's just the Cali life. You fit, catch and release. And um, there's like, oh, I'm trying to catch a keeper before my 30th reminder, two days once again. 
and I hope you enjoyed my haul. If you ever go to an Asian store, you know, it's so exciting. I went in, I was like, I don't need a cart. Do you guys do that? Okay, I went in, and all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I need a cart. I'm like, oh my gosh, they have shopping carts. Little bit, like, perfect size ones. It was filled up, it was exciting, and yeah, that's about it. If there's anything that you love, or maybe something I can try that I can eat, I would love to do that, because there's so many interesting stuff out there. I am allergic to, there's a long list, but to make it short, is shellfish, almonds, dairy, that's about it. Everything else I can pretty much eat, I just have to watch it and read ingredients, but hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.